Hey guys. We have completed making the game. Now, we will do the most important thing, which is we will build the game for Android. So, let's get started. First we have to configure some settings. So I am going to open the build settings. Here we will select Android as we want to build the game for Android platform. If you don't have the Android build support, then open up the Unity Hub. Then install the SDK, NDK and also the JDK tools. These are needed to build an app for Android. However, we have to switch the platform to Android. This will take some time to complete the operation. By default, a project is optimized for PC operating system. So, now the project gets optimized for Android platform. Now, we will open the player settings. Here we can see company name option where we have to enter a company name, if you don't have a company, you can use your own name. I will write slow, which is my YouTube channel name. In the product name option, you have to enter the game name. This name will be the app name. We can name this game Goofy Run, as you can see. We can change the version. We can make it 1.1. Or you can use three characters like 1.0.1. If we update this game, then we have to change the version before building the app. Now, we will set up an icon for this game. We can see an option called default icon, this is where we will put the app icon. So, I am going to import the app icon first. But, I don't have any icon for the game. So I will create an icon. I will use Affinity Designer to make the icon. Affinity Designer is a paid application alternative to Adobe Illustrator. I use this application, because I think the user interface is much easier than Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop. So, let's start making the game icon. So, this is our very simple game icon. I am going to export it.
Now, we will import the icon in Unity. Either we can select the app icon, or we can drag and drop the image onto this option. Now, we will expand the resolution and presentation. Here we can see an option called orientation. We will uncheck the portrait and portrait upside down option. So the game will start in landscape mode. Now, we will expand the other settings option. We will check this Auto Graphics API, so the game graphics will automatically be adjusted for any device. It will take some times to complete. Now, we will scroll down, we can see an option called Override Package Name. If you want to change the package name, then you can check this box. Package Name is the unique ID for an app. This name was generated automatically by using our company name and app name. However I will not change the package name. Now, we will get to the publishing settings. We can see an option called Key Store Manager. If you want to release the app in Google Play Store or an App Store, you must sign the app with a Key Store. So, I am going to show how to sign an app for Google Play Store. The process is very simple. We have to click on the Key Store Manager. Now, we will create a new Key Store. So, we will click this drop down and select Create New in Dedicated Location. We have to choose a folder where we want to create the Key Store. Now, we have to provide some information to create the Key Store. First thing we have to set a password for the key store. Then confirm the password. Now, we have to set an alias. Then we will give a password for our key. This can be similar to the key store password. You can increase the validity of the key store. I think 50 years is enough. Then you can provide more information if you want. But, I am pressing add key without giving those info. We can see, it asks if we want to use this key store to sign this project. I am going to hit yes. We can see it has automatically taken the alias and passwords. By the way, you can sign any game with the same key store, you just need to remember the password. However, now we can close the project settings window. The project is now ready to build. Before building the game, make sure you have attached all the scenes in the build settings. The first scene of the build settings will be loaded when the game is opened. Here we can see the sample scene is the first scene. But, we want the main menu scene to be loaded when the game is opened. So, I am going to drag the sample scene and put it underneath the main menu scene. Now, everything looks fine. So, we can click on the build button. We have to choose a location where we want the game to be built. I will create a new folder called release. Now, choose this folder and give a name of the APK file. Now click save. It has started building the app which will take a few minutes. In the meantime, if it fails to build or shows any error, we will see that in the console window. We can see the app has been built. We can see the APK file. Now we can install the app in our Android device. I am going to show the gameplay after installing the app in my Android device.
Anyway, this is it for this video and, hopefully I will see you in the next video.